Hello everyone, Marga here with part three of my mixed media art journal page. <laughs> part two, I started with making uh, a big page from 30 and a half by 30 and a half centimeter, and there I cut out all that stuff and and the uh, uh, video before I did this page and I did this page with that paper. These are leftovers and uh, so that's part two and now I'm going to make part three the inside of the paper and that's a very busy paper so I started with these pieces. I have uh, cut out some things already. No, I start with another thing. Oh, I almost forget because I want the edges with vintage photo then I want to scribble a little bit around the edges I must say it was a long time ago that I made the mixed media page and most of the time I did big pages and I left them uh, how they are and now I cut them for my art journal So, then I have here my uh, Zigno Broad Black Honeyball Pen and I'm going to scribble a little bit around the page, don't want to be straight lines, just want a little script edge. The other side I did stamped with the sewing machine stamp from this collection. I thought this time I would do it different and I do it a second time so it's a little more. Well, don't want two of the same things in one page. It's a double page but like it to do it a little bit different. I hope I'm still in the camera. And I love to scribble on my mixed media page, so I thought that is what I'm going to do now. And I must say, I must clean my desk after this video because it's a really mess. It's really messy. This was the one. No. And I have here now I had a piece of cork, a piece of uh, coordinated cardstock. This is a little bit too high, but want this also to be etched. I always do my lid on my uh, ink and not necessary when I'm busy because I need it every time. And now I'm taking a little peek. My camera's rolling, yes. That's a good one. And I had here a photo, but it was a square photo, and I thought I could tear it down also. Gave it also a little bit of the vintage photo oxide I use today. And now, this is the fold, so that this must be here. And then I have here a piece of ribbon. I think I like it to make a small bow on it, just for fun. Just got it in, so I saw this color, and this color match perfectly with this one. So. I think I like it. Oh, it's short, but. And this piece, I want to first. Do it together with my tiny attacher.
then I think I do the bow on here. I hope it works. Never tried it, so maybe it don't work if I get it in the Yes, 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 yes. Once again, so I love it, I love it, I love it. Things come out. Now on this, I don't want to do anything about this. And you see here this was modeling phase with embossing powder and when you uh, it was a little bit higher, but when you die cut it with your die cutter machine then it's going to be flat. I love this, I really love this. So this is a quick page. <laughs> I made a mistake with my uh, page before because the uh, HC coin I did there, I had uh, the idea to do it this, uh, this side, but I did it on the wrong side. So, uh, so. Put it down. A little bit. Because this side is also thick. So this one I had planned on this side, but I forgot that, so I put it on the wrong side, but it's okay. It's not a problem. And now I have see the good. Also a prayer from uh, Prayers 3 from the latest uh, journal elements collection. And I take out my. Because I want it a little bit higher. And it's just not. Most of the time it's not so quick that I make a page like this because and now I have planned it already so the video is not so long. So the planning time uh, you missed. <laughs> Some people say you are always so quick with your page but yeah I planned it already a little bit before I start with the video otherwise it's too long. I really love this bow element. I go look in the camera. I always go look in the camera. And you see here the nice blue. And I don't want to tuck it all away, the mixed media part. So that's one side. And now I had this one planned on this side, but now it's going to be on this side. And I have here piece also from the new collection I think I want some on here yes this Must glue down very well because there is coming a pocket on top of it. So I want to stack this really good down. Now I do the edges from the pocket. You don't see much of it, but I think I see it so. 
because there's so much paint on it. I'm going to glue them down with uh, rubber side adhesive because it's thicker paper. Outside of the camera, I think. My piece of my bottom. For me, double sided adhesive is also always a thingy. Because I'm not always straight so what I'm going to do is I put some glue on it also that I can a little bit shovel it when it's not on the correct way And it's thicker paper, so I must uh, give it a little bit uh, hard. Oh. Yes, it's straight. Is it stuck? Yes. Now I had uh, leftovers, and you saw that with this one also, and I didn't throw this one away either and I want to do this one in the pocket it fits must fit but oh this cause there is yes tried it and it fits so now it must also fit and I want uh Eyelet in here. Just for fun. Oh, it's not correctly in the middle, I see. Do you know what? It's not correctly in the middle, but do you know what? It is mixed media. So I always say by mixed media it may. I must say it's something I not used to do. That's what I shall take this time. Uh, need one more. Yes. And I think I want a little bit of that blue. In here also, and a little bit of black twine. So too much. So, and now I want here something on it. Mm, 
as my box with cuties. I have a lot of these cuties. But I want a smaller one. This is too big, I think. Is it too big? I don't look at this. No, 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 no. That's my more round. At the bottom there are the smallest one, but it's a little bit shiny in it. I think I like this one. And I'm going to glue it a little bit. Also, use my tiny attacher. Yes, and maybe a saying and praise. Where are my praises? I have them here the whole time. <laughs> oh. I wrote, uh, Got a lot of already. Enjoy the process, but I think it's not fitting on here. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, I uh, get it in the middle. It's also not a problem. This one I glue down. There's my tweezer. Must take it down and I leave it uh, for a minute like this so it can dry then I can put it better in my uh, pocket and I have here another one this is also a tag from uh, the mixed media paper come on work with me And I put also a blue ribbon in. Just got this ribbon in. And I must say I like it. I had a demo at the shop. But they sell this ribbon and I came home and I said oh I forgot it I still forgot it I made a list but also with the list I did forget it it was a busy busy uh, day and uh, full of fun but 
but uh, then you forget to shop for yourself. Not completely because, because I did buy something, but so. And now I have here an element that fits exactly on this label. And I want to do a rope, a little twine in it. Rope, a little twine, just a little twine. Just for fun also. Come on. So, how long must it be now? And I wave in it. I don't know if it comes good at the end because I didn't uh, tell my holes. a little knot in here so and I do it again now look at uh, this is just a fun element to do so now I think it stays down so Shall I do something on here? Because I want to write on it. I think I do. Uh, I know. Uh, I don't know if you have done that uh, once. Uh, write something that you don't don't read, can't read. It's fun to do. A long time ago I did it, but I'm going to do that once again now. First I put it on here. And then I'm going to... can not even know what there was and I make most of them the same letters but uh, sometimes Try to do another one. So, and I want something on here. 
Now I want something on here, and do I have some thing left in my boxes? Hmm, I saw here yeah, then. I think it's not nice. No. No, no. Right. Oh, yeah, I have two HC cards and a small label, but that's. No, I don't want that. You know what? I die cut flower. From this paper, from this label, I put it on here. I quickly die cut it. not die cut it the whole uh, it's very thick paper with layers on it you see where I have a double side layer on it doesn't but it's not a problem because you can simply go against the lines sometimes it's going out then I will it on here, so... It is beautiful now, but I want uh, a bread in it, so now I must make a noise again. Where did I leave my breads? Wrong one. I hope I have a nice blue one. I think I have a very nice blue one. It fits perfectly if they wants to stick with me. Come on. <laughs> He's going further to the bottom. Is that the same color or not? No, it's not exactly the same color. I have so much blue, but... This is better. No, I must make a small hole in it. This is a big hole. Now, come on. So. I missed something on this one. I missed something. I want it a little bit more hmm, inky. Now I'm doing something that I never do, but I must clean it directly. Miss some splatters. Come on. So. The baby wipes. Oh, 
otherwise I can't get it off my mat. And this mat is so important for me for a video. Because I have glass mats, but yeah, they shine too much in the videos. So this down just for an element there are so many nice elements in the This set, this collection I must say, not set. So this one is going here. And oh, this one is set dry, it's not dry. Let's quickly dry it. This one is dry. This one I think I want to put in here. Oh, it's stuck. It's stuck on here. So, and now I have two pieces in here, and uh, I think it's enough. I think it's enough. Maybe I had made a shorter one for here, for this one, but I think it's too thick then. No. Now I have three leftovers. Two I the C cards where I must make it C cards from. So I have later on uh, two cards already and one tag. So I think I love it. This was part three. And uh, I hope you liked it. And uh, I'm going to think what I'm going to do next. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.